handled that so good. Alright. Didn't even see him, still got him. But we're not done yet. Another trio or quartet of dogs in this area. Here's what I was talking about. Uh, instead of just one hole now, there's three holes here, but still only one statue. So no matter what, there's going to be a hole that will get you every time. Um, in this case, I think it's this hole right here that you need to cover. It doesn't matter though, because like I just said, I, I just said. so. go ahead and cover this one here. And depending on what happens, I may change my mind. Shit, I fucked up right there. I didn't get attacked, so... Okay, in that sense. Switch back to my handgun or that <laughs> shotgun. So get the shells. Um, I don't need all of these herbs exactly, so I'm gonna get rid of the. I'm gonna store the mixed ones. I'll keep. I'll keep the single ones. Um, other than that, I think we're good. Oh, I don't need the crank. Alright. That's it. Alright. So I got a little cocky about the shotgun thing. I got 15 shells left, but... I might need some more soon. Okay, so now I believe... I believe this room now is pointless. I don't think it's key anymore. But we're gonna go in there anyway to check it out. There's two zombies in here. Still got the double headshot. Love that. And I need these shotgun shells anyway, so that's not pointless. But yeah, this uh, room no longer has the red book. And I can still drain this tub, but the control room key is no longer in here, as I will show you. Completely empty tub, so that was pointless. 
Nothing over here. So, yep, the entire this entire dorm is pointless, except for the shotgun shells. The only use. Alright. Alright, so now I'm gonna go into the spider room. I might get choked right here, so be prepared for a scare. Ah! Yep. <laughs> okay. Alright, I gotta think fast in this room. It does look different, too. Alright, got the red book. This is where that is. Whoa! Oh, sh- Oh, well, we're not poisoned yet, so we're fine. Uh. Okay, so... Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. Okay. I get it now. If you guys watched my... Uh, let me stop the game for a second so the spiders don't get me. Okay, so if you watched my first... <laughs> My first playthrough, I did come into this room before, and then I noticed, and I'm still noticing, that the Q-sticks are textured against everything else which isn't textured, so I was always under the assumption that they must move. Something must move them. But, of course, they have to be, they can't be in the same pre-render position every time. And since that's the only thing possible to change, they have to be textured because it's in different positions depending on how you play the game. So, I get it now. There is no such cutscene that causes them to move. And you saw from the code right there, it was 958, and it represents a clock. So the Q-sticks are representing 958 right there. Alright, so now that I cleared that up, I... <laughs> know what those cue sticks mean now. So now I have to try to dodge the spider. Alright. I got this. That one's blocking the entrance like a bitch. Alright. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Right, that's gonna kill me though. So that one doesn't even choke me. Alright, so this order of events is somewhat different. Um, I believe the 002 key is still here, so I gotta be wary of that. Actually... There's an order of events that I kind of want to do specific to this playthrough. So I'm actually going to try to go to the 002 room right now and tr trigger what I'm hoping happens with Barry and that secret conversation. Nice. It can't be true. I've been told a different story. But it's not necessary for you to destroy stars. What about my family? So everything depends on me, huh? All right, so we're not we're actually not going to go in there yet. As possible, we might we might not ever talk to Barry. Because the way I, th the way I want things to happen, um, it requires me not to talk to him right off the bat. So, um, we're not gonna go in there yet. Um, I am not gonna do that. I was about to combine all three of those herbs, but in this mode, that is way too risky. So, I'm not gonna do that. All right. So now I'm gonna go in here and grab the zero zero two key. Which I think is the key in here. Yep, it's still that key. And let's go ahead and unlock the pharmacy. Um, actually, no, because in these. Whoa. Alright, because in these. In this playthrough and the next one. 
I am not going to use the V-Jolt on the Plant 42 this time. Because I want something specific to happen. Alright, so I'm not sure if Barry's still going to be in here since I didn't go straight in there. I'm going to find out, I guess. Alright, yeah, he's not in here anymore. So only if you have the key on hand will you actually get to talk to him, I guess. But since that didn't happen, um, yeah, so something might, something different might happen later in the game because of that. I'll be honest with you guys, I've actually never done that before, up to this point. I've never made it to where Barry was no longer in this room before I got a chance to talk to him. I kind of know what's going to happen because I read a game script before starting all of these playthroughs to make sure I get different events every time. So yeah, um, I believe what will happen later is what I want to happen but I'm not going to reveal it right now, so yeah. Alright, meanwhile, let's go ahead and get more shotgun shells. Because it's still them. Good, because I'm kind of in need of them. Grab that Plant 42 report, because even though I don't think it's necessary, it's in conjunction with the V-Jolt report, so I'm wondering if that's also required for the making of the V-Jolt. But why do I care? Because I'm not making the V-Jolt. Alright, two zombies in here now. Ah, what do you know it? This bathroom has become key, because it has the 003 key. Which is interesting, so it makes you think, what's the point of going into the basement, since the 003 key is here, and the plant 42 is still in that 003 room? Well, you're gonna know eventually. Because oh, a key item that you would normally earn after defeating plant 42 is no longer in its location. That is why. So they're kind of forcing you to go ahead and battle the Flamp 42 right now before you even go into the basement. And that's what we're going to do right now. I believe there's still some goodies in here. Alright, good. And it's still flame rounds. So that's nice. Make the Black Tiger, once again, easy. We're not gonna have a real boss fight with the Black Tiger until we get to Chris's game. There's not for a couple playthroughs. Alright, being in range mode, we do have a zombie in here now. Just double check to make sure this is still the ink ribbon desk. Yeah. Alright. I can't take it anyway. Alright. Well, we have no choice but to take the beach over for. Alright, we got plenty of health and ammo. Not that we need it really for the Plant 42, it's a very easy boss. The acid, on the other hand, might prove fatal, so that's why we got all these herbs. Hope for the best. Because we did not use the beagle, so something has to be different. Just missed that. Jill gets stupid. Ah! 
What the hell is this? Barry! Jill! And Barry to the rescue, once again. He's got a flamethrower. Defeated it. You saved me. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster! I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? <laughs> <laughs>